Hello friends, this video on circles part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's try to find a relationship between chord and arc. We'll do an activity, so you can also do that. Take a piece of paper, pen, compass and the whole geometry set. And in this circle, first draw a circle and draw two equal chords. Okay. And now measure the arc. And let this chord be A, B, and C, D, let's suppose. Okay. Now you can do one thing. So now A, B is equal to C, D is the chord we have uh, created, we have drawn, that is by construction. So we will observe that this arc, the minor arc A, B, will be equal to minor arc C, D. In fact, both you can superimpose, you can actually cut piece of paper you can cut this arc and you can cut this arc cd and you can see that you can actually superimpose both arc on each other thus we conclude that the equal chord makes congruent arc that is our conclusion by this activity and the converse is also true okay now let's understand the angle subtended by arc of a circle. Now we have seen the arc of the circle and let's see what is the concept of the angle subtended by it. So angle subtended by arc, so in this case I'll talk about minor arc actually. Or major arc, both are top. So angle subtended by the minor arc at the center is defined as nothing but angle subtended by the corresponding chord. So if you see here, if AB was the point, so when you say angle subtended by arc AB, or angle subtended by chord AB, both are same, both subtend the same angle, right? If you talk, so if you have take two points AB, so we talk about the angle subtended by this arc, and you talk about the angle subtended by this chord, both are same. The angle subtended by the chord and the angle subtended by the same arc, corresponding arc, both are same thing, right? Or corresponding minor arc. So I can say that angle subtended by a minor arc at the center of the circle is defined as nothing but angle subtended by corresponding chord at the center. Okay, you see minor arc subtends angle AOB. But if you talk about the major arc, let's point take C here. So angle subtended by this major arc is nothing but reflex angle AOB. Correct? That's the reflex angle. But angle subtended by the minor R is nothing but angle AOB. Angle subtended by chord is also same, both are same. Angle subtended by chord AB is equal to angle subtended by minor R AB. Angle subtended by the major R AB is nothing but the reflex of that angle. Okay. There is a very important theorem. Let's understand this. We'll have a lot of numerical space in this theorem. The theorem says that the angle subtended by an arc at the center of the circle is twice or is double the angle subtended by it at any other point on the circle. So for example, this is angle, uh, let's say, uh, let me say what they want to say. So this is an P, Q, and let this be A and this be circle O. They want to say that angle. P O Q is equal to twice of angle P A Q. That is what they want to say. This angle P O Q will be equal to twice angle P A Q. Angle subtended by an arc at the center, that is angle P O Q, is equal to double the angle subtended by the same arc at any other part of the circle. Of the circle. Very, very important theorem. Let's try to prove it. To prove this, let's join this AO. Okay, and let's number these uh, triangles. This is one. This angle is two. Let this be three. Let this be four. Let this be five. And let this be six. So we have to prove that angle POQ is equal to twice of angle. PAQ or I can say that POQ is what angle 4 plus angle 3 is equal to twice of angle 6 plus angle 1. That is what we have to prove. Okay, so let's see. See in this triangle 
AOP AOP AO is equal to Q radius both same side therefore angle 6 is equal to angle 5 similarly in triangle AOQ AOQ AO will be equal to OQ therefore AO is equal to I mean, both angles will be equal that is angle 1 is equal to angle 2 right these two equations we have got ok so now let's see in the same triangle in triangle AOP angle 5 is what sorry angle 4 angle 4 is the exterior angle and that is equal to sum of the opposite angle that is equal to angle 5 plus angle 6 correct and I can see that this is nothing but angle 5 is what angle 6 angle 6 plus angle 6 that is nothing but twice angle 6 similarly in triangle AOQ if you see angle 3 exterior angle is nothing but sum of opposite interior angle that is angle 1 plus angle 2 so we have to write the answer in the form of angle 1 so I can say angle 1 plus angle 1 why because angle 2 is equal to angle 1 twice of angle 1 you add these two equations this is the equation 3 and equation 4 add these two equations you add these two equations you will get angle 3 plus angle 4 is nothing but twice angle 6 plus twice angle 1 and that is what we have to do. okay very very important uh, theorem angle subtended by arc at the center is double the angle subtended by the same arc at any other part of the circle okay. another theorem derived from the existing theorem angle subtended by same segment of the circle are equal that means if uh, p q or let's suppose a b is the segment okay, or if arc so this will uh, subtend same angle on the minor arc that is angle 1 is equal to angle 2 right to prove angle 1 is equal to angle 2 correct so if there are, there are two points AB so it will subtend same angle if you take another angle also here it will be same so we can easily prove that see angle 1 is what angle 3 by 2 correct angle 1 is half of angle 3 angle 2 is what again half of angle 3 the theorem which we studied just now correct so if you see both the side both the RHS is the same therefore angle 1 is equal to angle 2 pretty easy angle in the same segment of a circle are equal ok let's take another important theorem it says that angle subtended by an arc of a circle uh, angle, sub, angle in the same circle is a right triangle so if there is a diameter here you get a semicircle and pq point this angle will be 90 degree right let's say to prove angle p r q is 90 degree so we know that angle p r q is what half of angle p o q this is point o correct because angle subtended by same arc at the center is twice the angle subtended by the same arc at any other point so what is angle p o q 180 degree straight line diameter and this is 90 degree as we can prove easily that angle p r q is 90 degree the so question is if a line segment joining two points let these two points be a b they subtend equal angle at other two points and let this point be C and this point be D. So given that angle 1 is equal to angle 2. Okay. The line segment joining two points, I can join also if you want. The line segment joining two points, they subtend equal angles at any other two points. It is something like this. point AB and these two AB points obtains equal angle at C and D right so we have to prove that all these four points are lying on a circle so we have to prove this 
So what we can do is we can just draw a circle and we can just assume that assume that D is not lying on circumference or on the circle. Correct. It is given that angle 1 is equal to angle 2. Okay. Now let's take a point E. Same place. Right? And let this be angle 3. This is by construction. Angle 1 is equal to angle 3 by uh, rule, by theorem. Right? Because they are, I'm just drawing uh, another. Uh, point here E in the same AB and we can see that angle 1 would be equal to angle 3 by rule we just understand the theorem. If this is possible only if D and E coincide right and thus I can say that the assumption that D is not lying on the circle is wrong correct that means all these four points lay in the circle. Also directly you can say that if this is given, angle 1 is equal to angle 2 given, this is the case of a, I mean this is the case when all these points lie on a circle, then I can say that if these two are nothing but points, if you make a circle like this, then I can say that angle 1 is equal to angle 2, this is converse of that, okay. Let's understand, thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.